Welcome to DevScope Technological Videos. Today, we are going to learn how to import Databricks table into a BIM file using Tabular Editor. You have probably already used the Power BI to import your tables uh, from Databricks, but today you are going to learn an alternative using just the Tabular Editor. So let's import the table to our BIM model using Tabular Editor. You just go here to Model, Import Tables, and now let's just bring to this screen this option. And you, now we are, you are going to create a new data source connection. So let's keep Next. And here you have to switch to ODBC data source. Let's say OK. And now to the connection string, if you already know how to create a connection string, you can just go and, and paste it here. If you don't know, I will leave it on the comments, the way to build that connection string. Uh, you will use this as an example in the Databricks uh, web page. You have here an example of how to, to create the connection string. And don't forget to replace this, uh, the driver, the path to, to the driver that you have on your local computer. This is the host of the Databricks and also the HTTP path to your Databricks. Uh, in the last part of this connection, you will have this personal access token that you can get from the Databricks page on your personal area. You can create an access token and then just replace it here. So I have already done that. So I will just copy and use it in this connection. So let's just go here and replace. And you will see that automatically this username and password will be complete. So just click OK, and you will have this uh, the information being updated. Now you have all the tables and views that you have on the Databricks. You have them all here. So for this example, that let's just choose, for example, the calendar table. And here we are going to say that we want to keep all the rows and that our identifier quote is the backticks. You can see a preview of the table here in this top part and you can just select the import option to import this view. Now that we have already imported the table, let's look here to the partitions and let's see that you probably will not be able to uh, change this object type and the connection that you are using. And because we have used a local ODBC uh, connector, we will have to create a new partition. So let's just right click, create a new partition. And we are doing this because you will probably publish this BIM file and then you, you will want to refresh automatically the information and this will use a, a WAM query. So I have already here the, um, the query that we are using on another table. I have it here, so I will just copy paste to this new table. I will just go here in this new query and let's then rename it. I will put it here and then I just have to replace with the name of the table. Calendar. Um, you can also have this M query when you connect to your Power BI. So if you don't know how to uh, create this query, you can use the one that you have on uh, Advanced Editor in, in Power BI. So now it's okay let's just rename this this partition 
and we can delete this one. This one is not important anymore. And also the data sources that we have created before to, to import the information, we will not use it. So we can delete because we have already switched to this M query. With this done, you can also try to import other tables or use different data sources to complete your BIM file. This is an easy way to import tables from Databricks to your BIM file. Thank you very much to watching this video and let's see you next time.